Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Today I'm coming at you with something a little bit different. I've done this before, but it's been a while. So I am going to do what I call a review. It's sort of a cookbook, but it is a cookbook magazine. The Hungry Girl Fall issue is upon us. And I got myself a copy. I ordered mine online, so it was delivered right to my house. And you can go on her website, hungry-girl.com slash magazine and order your own if you choose, or you can find yours at your local store. I believe if you go online, it'll tell you what stores have them. I'm really not quite sure, but I did it right online. Came right to my house in about two weeks, two long weeks. Cause, Cause when I saw this was coming out, I'm a huge Hungry Girl fan. So I'm kind of biased when it comes to this. So I'm not quite sure what a good review this will be because no matter how it is, I love her and I will love this. But I do, and I did. And 65 healthy recipes, world, now here are some of the categories. World's easiest weeknight dinners, holler. Slow cooker comfort food, six ingredient casserole dinners. That's just what's on the cover. And I'm it's, it is a beautiful color magazine. I, it's $9.95 in the United States. Totally worth it to me. And there's always, um, you know, a little article from Lisa herself. And there's ads and all the ads are always geared towards healthy food and stuff. And they have, of course, the table of contents. And on this side, it has all the specials like the world's easiest weeknight dinner, slow cooker comfort foods, entertaining with appetizers tonight, happy hour cocktails, six ingredient casseroles, super simple, which means it's soup. Duh. I'm thinking maybe they didn't get that. Everything pumpkin. Oh, if you get yourself a can of pumpkin, that is, because apparently pumpkin's scarce. And there's no pumpkin shortage. Just apparently, there's, I heard there's a tin shortage. Not sure how true that is either. Hot couple snack edition. So it's two things that pair very well as a cool snack. Three cheers for the whoopie pies. Whoopie pie pan. So there's all these little fun recipes you can make in your whoopie pie pan. And guess who just got herself a whoopie pie pan? I shouldn't say I just got it. I got it right when pandemic hit and I need to make some things and there's a few in there that yeah you know your girls want to try cold weather desserts now for my WW peeps you go on her website hungry-girl.com slash magazine and you can go print the PDFs for the plan you're on I plan it printed the blue plan and the purple plan because I'm not quite sure I'm a blue girl, true and true, but I'm on purple right now, so, hmm. So, yes, yeah, so I printed them both out, and I, what I do is I always, she used to print them for all her cookbooks. I'm not sure if she still does that, but it was here for the magazine. So, what I do is I keep them right inside. They're always there, and I can easily look it up without having to get the calculator out, because she always gives all the nutritional information anyway, so you really don't need these, but, you know, she made it easier, so thank you, Lisa Lillian, for that. And then there's your fall 2020 guilt-free recipe guide. There they are, all the recipes in the issue. So yes, it tells you the symbols for 30 minutes, five ingredients or less, gluten-free, vegetarian. Vegetarian? I was gonna say vegan. And if you don't subscribe to her daily emails, where have you been? You really need to. They're amazing. I'm telling you that she talks about her, her stuff that she has on her, you know, what her stuff offers, her podcasts, her emails. She goes live several times a week with like cool recipes. And there's just a lot of stuff in here. The ultimate Halloween candy guide. Whatever WW needs that. Why go flexitarian? I'm not even sure what a flexitarian is, but I'll read this and I'll find out. In the world of diet extremists, a flexitarian approach is a welcome way of eating. It is where flexibility meets vegetarianism. There we go. Meal prep champion. The gadgets you need for good and healthy meal prepping. I don't meal prep, we know this. I think I say it all the time. 
there's just so many wonderful recipes in here i'm telling you i read it from cover to cover it just tells you how to save calories she saved over 200 calories doing these little hacks that she calls like um scooping out some of your bagel you could save you know calories and points and she had came out with a new drink called the bright boost she has a little talk about the bright boost it's like a um, vitamin drink crunchy snacks supermarket craving crushers Let's see. the weeknight dinners i love that and all her stuff is super simple super flavorful and super delicious chicken and sausage and apple stir fry chicken fajitas and lettuce cups Instant Pop Paella, Paella, Surf and Turf Florentine, Slow Cooker Comfort Foods, Chicken and Sausage and Pepper Stew, Moroccan Vegetable Stew, Fruity Pork Tenderloin, Turkey Pot Roast, now that sounds interesting, Steak Chili, let me tell you the, oh and the cute little appetizers, I mean come on, <sighs> Crispy Smoked Salmon Bites, any pasta skewers, I've always made them. I love, love, love them. Loaded mashy shooters. Potato shooters. Purple people. That's for you. Bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. If you've never had bacon with your Brussels sprouts, you're not living. Amazing. Eggplant parm bites. If you haven't, I made easy eggplant parm, I'm telling you. Air fry it. Bottomless jalapeno poppers. What she does is she just puts the breading on the top. It's not on the bottom. Save yourself some, you know, calories and points there, people. There's some of for cocktails for happy hour. Yep. For those that indulge. Six ingredient casseroles. Nacho casserole. Sloppy. This is the, these are the ones I want to make. The sloppy Jane casserole. Because it's covered in shredded hash browns. And I think my family will eat that. Sometimes you have to find things that our family's going to eat. Buffalo chicken casserole, they would love that too. But this is another one I want to make. The Thanksgiving casserole, I have everything to make this. So you might be seeing a cook with tea on this one. Yes. Creamy chicken and corn casserole. Butternut squash and black bean casserole. Super simple. Shelf stable soup starter soups. Chicken and mushroom soup, tomato and cauliflower rice soup. My husband wants me to make the Swedish meatball soup. Caramelized onion soup. It's like a version of, of onion soup, but healthier. Unstuffed cabbage soup. Ooh. And my favorite section, everything pumpkin. So yes, she made this pumpkin cream parfait on her live. Chocolate pumpkin cream pie, chocolate chip pumpkin bread. And these are another one I'm definitely going to make. Pumpkin bagel bites. But I want to put my pumpkin butter in the middle of that baby. What do you say, people? Shall we try it? Roasted pumpkin in Brussels. Oh, that's interesting. And pumpkin meat sauce. That's another one. Never thought of these things. And this is what she's talking about, the hot couples. How you pair two things. Like nacho bites, Thai peanut broccoli noodles. And you get two things and you make... Like this one, strawberry and chocolate. Is it, what kind of chocolate is it? Chocolate hummus stuffed mushrooms. And if you see, zero point hummus. That would be zero point snack. And this, I saw this and I'm like, because I make a zero point regular hummus, hummus stuffed mushrooms. That's genius. So you're going to be seeing some hummus stuffed mushrooms here on the channel as well. Buffalo cauliflower. I love buffalo cauliflower. I'm sorry. I think it's... And here's the, the whoopie pie pan things. And I've made these whoopie pies on my channel. They are the bomb. And they're... These are the mini ones, but she makes a bigger one. And you can make mini blueberry pancakes in your whoopie pie pan. Corn dog muffin tops in your whoopie pie pan. Mini mitzas. Little meat cakes. And bacon and egg patties. I'm telling you, I think this, you know, I think she should charge more than 9 dollars 
cold weather desserts, mini chocolate peppermint cream pies, tutti frutti dump cake, apple bread pudding, and baked caramel apples. I mean, yes. So that is the gist of it. There is always a few more, but there's also, she does success stories on people who've lost a lot of weight. There's always a few success stories. And in the back of the success stories, they share recipe favorites of theirs. So that's always good people that have been successful. And oh yes, D DIY gummy bears. You're gonna be seeing that too. I found, I have a pin that was, I got when the kids were little, it's little Easter eggs. So I'm gonna make my own gummy eggs. It's a little bit off the hook, but you know, I'm a little excited about it. But what I also thought was really adorable is at the end, you get a cooking up crossword puzzle. Because doesn't any good magazine have a crossword puzzle? I just think it's, you know, for the person that's trying to eat better, find great recipes, there's not many ads in this magazine at all. There's a few, not many to count. You know, this is Dish with the Approved, but there's no big surprise there because I love everything that she makes. So no big surprise, I would love this. So I give it two thumbs up for me because I just love it. So that was a little preview this way. If you're on the fence and you know, everyday ingredients, quick and easy meals, which is the truth. Hers are extremely easy, but that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did give it a thumbs up, let me know if you plan on getting it. Let me know if you already have it and what you think of it. I know I'm biased. I, I will say that I, I love, she is my, my rock star. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of what I have to offer, I would love to have you along. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We will dish another day. Who knows what I'm going to be reviewing next.